Yo, what's up? Your old pal Tom here. Hey, did you know that soccer is the biggest sport in the world? In fact, the beautiful game is so big that even robots get a chance to play. Yeah, that's right. Soccer played by robots. It's called the Robo Cup. Check it out. Uh, we're here at RoboCup US Open in Atlanta, Georgia. We've got hundreds of robots here. The RoboCup is team-based robotics. So most of the people here competing are from universities, but we also have a, a good number of high school students. So the robots that we're using are the Sony Ibo robots. We try to get them to play soccer. Oh. Oh. The way they come, they're made to be like a family pet, sort of. They're supposed to follow you around and be cute. If we want to make them play soccer, we have to kind of start over. We kind of almost scrap the code that they give us and use our own code. This robot has a camera in the nose right here, so most of what it's doing is based on the pictures that it gets from this. They're doing everything by themselves. There's no joysticking. No humans are interacting with the robots during gameplay. They're all on their own. So it's really robots against robots. I enter the small size league in RoboCup. In this league, uh, unlike the IBOs, we build the robot. So this robot has about $2,000 worth of parts and uh, what we call near infinite labor. And we're pretty happy with it. It's been neat to be a part of the league because uh, we're really pushing on what it takes to sort of make the robot smart um, and actually play soccer. Go CMU, that's the game. Really, the, the goal of RoboCup is to advance the research in robotics and artificial intelligence. One goal, kind of, is one day when we have humanoid robots, we can have them play against the World Cup champion human soccer team and hopefully beat them. Come on, guys, get the ball. Get the ball. Yeah. After all said and done, you are getting robot dogs to play soccer. You have to have kind of a sense of humor. Yeah, you'll get into it.